Indiana Disability History Project, Indiana Institute on Disability and Community, Indiana University. Spending time with Justin Dart. Rick Edwards. One of my, one of my favorite stories uh, involved uh, Justin Dart, who was the father of the ADA. And this was when I was working as the state's ADA coordinator. We, uh, we thought it would be a good idea to invite Justin to Indiana to speak to some of the people that were in Indiana just beginning to understand what the ADA was all about. And I had never met Justin Dart. So I didn't know anything about him but by his reputation. And I thought, well, here's a, a gentleman who, my goodness, was going to be just a, an amazing person and, and very outstanding and all that sort of thing. And so I'm sitting in the lobby of the hotel where we were, had invited, invited Justin to come speak. And I'm looking around, make, keeping an eye out for him. And I see this gentleman coming down the hallway in what looked like a wheelchair that was uh, for, right out of Goodwill, uh, wearing this funny looking hat. And I thought, I better go take care of this guy and deal with him before Justin shows up. Well, it turned out it was Justin Dart. And I, I quickly found out that, uh, you know, my, my uh, flaws and my preconceived notions about people was uh, quickly changed. He, uh, he was very gracious and, and uh, it, it was, he was definitely a character. I got to, uh, because I had a wheelchair equipped van, lift equipped van, I was able to take him around a couple of places and we, we talked and got to know each other uh, uh, as well as you can in, in, in that short a period of time. And that was, it was entertaining because not only did I get to hear a lot about what he had been dealing with, but uh, we got to share the, the camaraderie and the, the understanding that, you know, this was not just a, a thing that was going to affect us. It was going to be a thing that was going to affect our kids and our kids' kids and many generations to follow. So what we were doing was vitally important, not only to us, but to our kids. Because of Justin's stature and his, uh, his position in government, we were able to get hold of some of the folks that were the policy makers, some of the movers and shakers, and say, you know, here's an, indiv an individual who was appointed by presidents and an individual whose, whose uh, capabilities and, and expertise and s just plain and simple desire was so great that they had no choice but to listen. And so uh, he, he also uh, instilled in me the ability to recognize that it's important to be at the table. Um, in order for us to make a change, people with disabilities, not only do we have to have this act, but we also have to have the ability to communicate with those people and become those people that are making the changes and the decisions. Music, Redwood Trail, recorded at the 2009 Indiana Governor's Council for People with Disabilities Conference, produced by Indiana Institute on Disability and Community Center for Health Equity, Funded in part by the Indiana Governor's Council for People with Disabilities. Copyright 2018, the Trustees of Indiana University.